Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. I just recently got new fiber internet installed into my house that gives me three gigabits down and three gigabits up. I also got the new PDU Professional. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link down in the description below. But to get ready for the PDU Professional new firmware update, which will allow us to have high availability, we need to put a second UDM SE into this rack. And while we're doing that, I'd like to clean this rack up a bit and reorder it. I'm not too happy with how this looks right now. Also, these cables right here, we will have to shorten them. I may not be able to do it in this video as the DAC cable is super long and I don't have a shorter one. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You can find me on Twitter at MacTelecomN. And if you'd like to support the channel, I do have affiliate links in the description below. Before we head downstairs and start ripping gear out, let's take a look at what I think I'm going to do. On the right hand side, we can see at the top, I have my patch panel and then I have my enterprise switch. I have a UDM SE and then I have this brush plate. I also have the aggregation switch. We have a blank in between and then I have the mission critical switch. Below that, that's where the shelf is with the Synology NAS. That's not going to move and the things on the bottom won't move as well. I have an RPS and then I have the UNVR Pro. And then in the new rack, we're gonna leave the first U open and then we'll have our patch panel. After that, we're gonna put the USW Enterprise 24 PoE switch. Below that, we're gonna put our aggregation switch and then our two UDM SEs. And below that, we'll be putting the mission critical switch. Mission critical switch will still stay in the same position as it was a pain to rack. Under the mission critical switch, we're going to put that brush panel and then we're going to move the PDU professional up to the front instead of the back. We'll have all the power cables going through that brush. And then after that, all we need to do is connect the cables back up, plug our ISP connection in, and I'll show you how I'm getting my three gigabits, what SFP I'm using. So let's head downstairs. We're now down at the network rack. I'm going to have to lower the NAS down, maybe one U. We're going to replace all of these cage nuts with rack studs because it's way easier to work with. I'll have to rip out all of these cables, which are pretty tough to take out of the back of all of the devices and then start mounting stuff. So first, let's get all this gear taken out, put on the table, and then we'll replace it and put it back in the rack. All right, now all the gear is out of the rack, we need to start taking the cage nuts out. We're gonna fill them with the rack studs to make it easier to get all the equipment back in. Once all the rack studs are in, we're gonna start replacing the gear into the rack and then cabling it all back up. Now all the gear is in the rack, we need to get it powered up and this is going to be the hardest part because there's so many different power cables. The RPS cables are the same lengths but they're very thick and they're hard to cable manage. But we'll try to do our best to make this look clean. Now we got the power cables connected to all of our unified devices. I'm going to tidy this up by putting some Velcro around the RPS cables as well as the power cables on the back. Now 
now we're all cabled up and all the equipment is live and powered on. On the top we have a patch panel. This has keystones in it but there's nothing connecting to the back. I just put that in there for a placeholder. And then we have our second patch panel which connects to my access points upstairs, my cameras and some other devices like my PC and a few other switches. I'll put links down below to similar patch cables as lots of people asked for them and we also held up all of the equipment using rack studs. Those will also be down below. This connection right here is my ISP connection and I have a three gigabit by three gigabit internet connection. This is just running through a Cat5e cable. Depending on the distance, you could get 10 gigabit out of Cat5e. And it's going down into my UDM SE using an RJ45 10 gigabit SFP plus. From the UDM SE, we have a DAC cable that's going up into my aggregation switch and then the aggregation switch connects to my USW enterprise switch. Looking at the side of the aggregation switch, we have this one uplink which goes to my UNVR Pro for 10 gigabit uplink. And then we have this going into port one of the UDM SE. That's just connecting to my RPS. We have the two UDM Pros. I'm not gonna power up the second one currently as the firmware needs to be updated on the PDU Pro to support high availability. That's why there's two in the rack. And once that firmware comes out, we will do a video on it. Below the second UDM SE, we have my mission critical switch. And really the only reason I have this switch is because I did a video on it. It does have PoE++, which goes to a switch in my Cadio, the USW Flex. We have a brush panel that brings out all the power cables that are connecting to the PDU Pro. And I also have an uplink going to my switch so that we could see this in our Unify controller. I'm just using this right now as a PDU. We're not putting the ISP pass through in this currently. We moved the rack for my Synology NAS and then we have my RPS, which still doesn't have rack ears on. And then we have the UNVR Pro connected with a 10 gigabit SFP plus DAC cable. We're now done building the network rack and replacing everything. I'm pretty happy with how it went. This was a speed test I did from my phone and this is directly from the UDM SE. Let's see what speeds we're getting. The final speeds that I was getting was 3047 megabits per second down and 2752 up, which is really good and close to what the provider has promised me. The SFP that I'm using is a 10G Tech SFP Plus RJ45 module. I'm only running Cat5e from my internet service provider over to my UDM SE. You can get up to 10 gig with Cat5e in a short length. Let's take one final look at the rack. And that's the final look of the rack, which I'm really happy about. I do like the PDU at the front. The power cables don't look too bad. We will be doing another video once the firmware is released, PDU Pro, so that we have the high availability. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.